Jan would start every long trip by making the sign of the cross, which culled within me a feeling that grated, like, really, the sign of the cross next to a recovering Catholic when you, my lifelong partner now gone, never grew up among statues and stained glass, nuns in blue gowns, priests raising hosts daily? But baseball players do it, athletes of all varieties, and prayers are said about those whose team or person gets some advantage, as though God cares about such trivialities when whole populations starve, whole peoples make the sign of the cross before being shot for crimes by a terrorist state. So the sign of the cross before long trips and sports events appears silly. The pastor at Bethel Church doesn't agree at all. He prayed for some way to fix his house that slid off its foundation, and a Finnish guy shows up knowing just what to do and did all the work for free. And to beat all, the pastor tells another story. He has $50 for a diamond ring he wants for his wife and buys it at a synagogue where he sees just what he wants at their store. And the lady behind the counter says, that will be, you'll never guess, $50, which she counts out by hand, and we all understand it should have been six times that amount. His point being, God is in everything we do, no matter what, even if you're now yawning and thinking, does God reward cheapskates? So much of this thinking or praying and then getting is a phenomenon known by quantum physicists who, in so many words, say that everything is energy and who's to say we can't imagine something as one does in prayer to then cause it to happen, as it does when we get inner images of someone we haven't seen for years and they call us the same day. We had them on our receptive organ, receiving whatever it is that occupies the magnetic field that reverberates a unity among us worldwide. We pluck the world's string for every inner thought we have, every word we say, and so we had better be smithing words and thoughts that ring unity and love For this field so rainbowed with connecting ions, even cheapskates can benefit from its waves. While I would like to pray solely for others because I have enough, and even more pray through concrete actions to attend to what causes so much misery in people's lives, I find myself now sitting in my car, worried that someone might see me, and simultaneously becoming immersed in a moment of charmed peace, making the sign of the cross.